So then. I have a little story about this game. Not terribly long, really, just... I've seen this played at least a few different times. Maybe just tick down the mic, my mic a little bit, just in case. So I've seen this game played at least a couple of times by Mega G Wolf, and I got interested. <laughs> I happen to like dungeon crawler type things on occasions, and this happens to be one of them. It released a while back. It's something that you could pick up on itch.io. It was also part of the Ukraine bundle a while back. In terms of updates, it's stalled since last year, but even still. The aesthetic of this game is everything is pixel art a la Doom, kind of, but not really. Hello there, Denantha. Hope you're doing well. But yeah, the general idea of this game is you're, well, dungeoneering. There's this cave that's opened up, and it's up to you to try and figure out what's inside it. Maybe take down my DPI a little bit. I don't know if the bone's gonna be useful. Maybe there's a sword around here. Because I won't be able to break that out, I think. Maybe I will be able to. By throwing the bone. That That's practical. That's totally practical. Throw bones at the target. We don't talk about this. <laughs> we don't talk about this. I... I didn't see the dagger. Okay? I didn't see the dagger. That's, that's all I need to say. Just... <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, there's a dungeon that's opened up. You're tasked with exploring it, figuring out why it exists. And to do so, there are a variety of different things that you can find along your travels, such as potions, other weapons, arms, like this danger. But it's a danger, so it's not going to be all that useful. But one of the bigger aspects that you need to be that you uh, need to pay attention to, you can't jump. There is no platforming in this game whatsoever, so everything is a little bit dependent on your ability to properly explore and check your surroundings. A proper dungeoneering experience. That looks like a spider nest. That's not a spider. If anything, that's a Zambo. Whew. Dog sitting for your grandma. Oh, that's nice. Hope the little pupper's behaving. That's a spike trap. Just be careful about my dungeoneering. That totally looks like a trap. more energetic than your dog. I see. That wasn't the end. It was the beginning. Likes running and jumping on people. That's adorable. Your dog is depressed. There's another pupper in there. Aww. I mean, it makes sense. The little one's used to getting your attention. The 
But the more magically inclined, such as myself, this is a great place to enchant scrolls and artifacts. I have some prepared that I could part with for the right price. Otherwise, please, let me return to my meditations. Essentially, these guys here are the shop upgrades. Because, uh, at the end of the day, this is a roguelike. I believe... I'm going into those ruins. I want to be stocked up on supplies. Thankfully, your pal Zoth sells everything you could possibly need. Hmm. I mean, a steel sword would be nice. Just to have, really. I don't really care for swords, but it, hey, it's better than nothing. Refused to go to her water and food bowls because another dog was closer to it. Oh, territorial. I wonder if there's an inventory system, considering that. Can I just have that now? Oh, tankard. Those don't look all that useful. There has to be a way to get past this, right? Pew! This is a slow weapon. But then again, this is a dungeon crawler, so it makes sense. Not all weapons are going to be quick and nimble. Each of them have their own strengths and weaknesses. More jealous than territorial. Okay. You! It's fine. Her stuff in your room, she looks a lot better. Okay. That's good. Boomer. Two boomers. That looks to be a potion. No. Sorry, dude. It's you or me. And if you're getting close to me in a dungeon like this, I'm gonna say stabby stabby. Bonk. Okay, it takes a bit for that, so maybe use my... Big wacky. There we go. One of the only depressed dogs in the world. Oh. Give the little one plenty of head pats. They deserve it. Person. Now I'm getting a little noia. <laughs> Looks to be an enemy Magus, so let's take care of you from a distance. There are definitely others around. And lava. Oh, good. That's the sound of magic. So, who's trying to snipe me? You're trying to snipe me! Shark! No! Oh! No! Oh! Should have kept my distance. Damn it. Slowly I'll learn this. It was actually kind of fun. 
And you start each and every run with a random set of items, too. It's always an Iron Dager, a potion of some kind, and a staff of some kind as well. I don't know what that Discord ping was, but hey. Um, I'm not sure how much money I've got. Notes on battle. A focused attack will always hit. Even in battle, a little planning goes a long way. Okay. Take stock of your belongings before charging ahead. Put things on a belt for easy access. Okay. Q is throw. I need to remember that. I'm not sure how to access the belt, though. M is the map. Okay, I. I's inventory. Good to know. That's a composite bow. I mean, if I had arrows, maybe, but... Hmm. No, let's save my money. A journal page. The others went inside, against my arguments, to proceed more cautiously. I feared for the worst. The only thing to do now is to wait for their return. No word yet from the rest, but I've been trying to continue my studies in their absence. So far, nothing seems fixed here. No observations have remained stable. Essentially, the game saying, This is a mystery dungeon. The layout is going to change each and every time you enter. Let's try again. chair. Find lesser ice wand. Ho! Oh, slime! Eat that! Ah! I don't know what I was expecting, okay? And that was a paralysis potion. Yay. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna have to play this like a mage. At least until I can get something to eat. I think food items restore HP in this. Those are bones. I should be able to handle a slime on my own. There we go. A lot of tankards. Just advance slowly. Work! <laughs> huh. That's what you get for trying to ambush me, you jerks. And for that, we get an upgrade. 
so maybe health, all things considered. I seem to get hurt a lot. <laughs> Ooh, bump. While I'm at it. Oh, this is ale. Money, good. Even more money. An iron sword. That's gonna be helpful. Three AC versus three AC. It's worn armor. Well, okay. Bunch of utensils and whatnot. A candle? That might be useful. So far, nothing too out of the ordinary. Great, of some kind. That's a trap. Let's not touch that. And behind this door is what again? So far, nothing. Good. Nope. I hear something. I see something. Yeah, while I'm doing all this dungeoneering and everything, I do want to bring up a couple things. Most specifically... Dead. <sighs> Most specifically, um, the stream schedule is going to probably change in the recent future. Because something that's going to be happening is I'm going to be starting a new job, and that new job is scheduled... Well, it's supposed to be scheduled, like, Sunday through Thursday. As a result, I need to think about when the new stream schedule is going to be. Chances are I'm going to be streaming Friday and Saturday from then from then on. I just don't particularly know which times. I've been doing some thinking about it. I want to maybe do mornings both days for me, so that's like 8 a.m. to noon both days. But we'll see. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not 100% anything really so I figure I might like uh, put it to a poll once more people show up whether or not I like do streaming mornings or evenings for my time that is grizzly rather not feel with you. The scroll of invisibility. Some arrows. And me without a bow. I'm starting to wish I picked it up! <sighs> Let's get some attack power. Because I'm getting better at using my arms and everything. Okay, good. An exit to the north, an exit to the south. 
that's what I'm looking at. There's a bat too. Come on, bat. I know you want me. Get this raccoon booty. No. Try again. Ooh, an apple. That's gonna be helpful. So that cheese, that iron sword of paralysis. Interesting. So let's do a bit of inventory management. Um, eight to eleven, six to nine. Let's do that. Probably take off the cheese. Just in case I might need something chewable. Aside from the whole streaming thing, other events include, I got a new pair of glasses, so they're going to be something to adjust to. I can actually see somewhat distant, a decent distance now. It's a weird type of glasses, though. Like, I'm not used to glasses without a bottom rim. So this is kind of new to me. And I should probably test some of these pots, huh? Or just use a bomb. Pew. Interesting. There were at least a few explosions that way, so uh, something triggered to something. A buckler. Could be useful. Donk. Donk you. Take care of that slime. That looks caved in. I wonder if I can, like, remove the cave in. I cannot. That was a mistake. Ow. On the bright side, food will slowly restore my HP over time. Hey. Try again. What? Rude. Okay, what other items do I have? An apple. Might as well tick up that red potion, see what that does at some point. I'm not sure if I need this book, though. Probably not. 2AC iron cap might be handy. Good oil. I wasn't hiding. Shark. Oh, good. So there's a uh, thinger to restore my HP. Usually in these types of games, potions and whatnot can be tested one of two ways. Either by throwing them at targets to see if they'll have an effect, or otherwise by drinking them. One of them is obviously a little safer than the other, but just because it's a little safer doesn't mean that it's guaranteed to work. Not to mention, some, if it happens to be a recovery potion that you toss at an enemy, 
well, Vergo is your good means of actually healing. I wonder how useful this cudgel will be. Bonk. Short bow. Nice. I do have arrows, so I can at least use that. Another candle. I'm starting to pick up a lot of items. Donk! And what's in you? A whole lot of nada. Am I all the way back at the beginning? I might be. Great. So if I just continue going this direction... Some more breakables. Let's hope there's some food. Another bomb. Not sure how to feel about that. Phew. carrying junk in my inventory just to throw at traps. I'm not sure if that will actually work, though. Because in some dungeon crawlers, you can get away with that. And that's a uh, potion. There we go. Book. So literally two secret passageways and that's it. Okay. <laughs> that's a weird layout. But hey, this is a procedurally generated dungeon, so what do you expect? Quit on. All right, that's you. There should be one more. Hey. Damn it. Huck that candle, get that. Chew on that, because... Stormwand. Ooh, you you guys had some pretty good loot here, didn't you? Such a shame that uh, I had to come in and ruin your day like this. But hey, this is a dungeon at the end of the day. Do I test the green potion? Honestly, I should probably get rid of that second candle. And this seems to be dead end. Great. So in that case... I need to go in that door. Past the poison trap again. Do I have any junk to toss on that? Seriously, that's still going to take effect. Oh, that's gross. I 
and keep going in this direction. Now the question is... oh, never mind. Done. Secret passageway. And another enemy. Yeah! Eat that. I'm starting to get the hang of these swords. They are really heavy, but they hurt. Ate that. Oh, I want that. So I guess I'm gonna have to test a potion after all. Or I could just eat the cheese. That sounds like a better idea. And let's see. Quick check of inventory. Don't think I need that armor. Another book. But I kind of want to take the meat. Maybe the missile one too? All things considered, I don't think I need the mace. Its damage is a little too variable too, so it's in my better interest to get rid of it. Take a couple moments to take these out. Ooh, money. Huh. Iron Sword of Haste, 2 to 5 damage. 4 to 7. Don't need that spiked cudgel, so I might as well take that, just in case. And this is maybe looking like the right direction. Well, considering there's an enemy right there, hopefully. Eat that! Yeah, I haven't seen all too much of this game, honestly. Like, Mega G Wolf did play it back in the day a, a couple of times. But even then, I think the furthest he got in any of his runs was maybe, like, the first boss, and even then... He didn't get too much further than that. Yee! And now I know. Red potions are some type of time bomb. What the... Bat! Bad. Oh, I want that meat. <sighs> oh well. So thinking about it, I should probably uh, put that bow on the tab. have anything I want to get rid of, either. Because my current cap is pretty good, all things considered. Two and three. Nothing. Shame. Steak. Granted, it came from a monster, but... It might be a good idea to eat it. Or have it, just in case. Maybe I could cook it. Scroll of Enchant Weapon. That's something I'm going to use immediately, I think. Because my current weapon is pretty good. That's invisibility, me. God. Damn it.
Well, on the bright side, if I ever find any enemies, I could sneak up on them, but I doubt I will. Because this room appears to be a dead end. Joy of joys. I've wasted my one means of escape. I mean, it could be worse. I'm not exactly sure where to go with all... I don't think I've seen a staircase anywhere. Unless I wasn't paying attention. Such that could be the case. I... Sometimes I'm notorious for not paying attention. Hmm. Maybe the room to the south has something. That's the only idea I've got, really. Yes, it did. A secret. With a whole lot of beer. I'll at least take the money. Paralysis. Spiked mace. That's fairly good damage, but eh. Of cash. Maybe consider taking one ale. Twenty nine charges, a lesser ice wand. It's a greater ice wand. Uh, maybe huck out the greater for the lesser. It sounds counterintuitive, but honestly, it's a means of protecting myself. 